What's up, everybody? Welcome to Dice House and their DCO commentary. Uh, I'm bringing this video to, to you today because as you guys, maybe you guys follow Facebook, Twitter, and everything like that, uh, you have known um, or you've been in the game, you have seen the announcements that the uh, early release for DLC 8 Sons of Trigon is today for uh, everybody who's a legendary subscriber. Uh, basically, you know, if you got legendary, you get early access to an actual launch date for when you know, everybody can purchase the DLC is September 3rd. But they went ahead and they released the patch notes and everything, lots of information about it. I uh, wanted to go ahead and get into you with a little bit about what we're getting with uh, Sons of Trigon, starting with, uh, you know, the Gotham Wastelands. Um, there's new daily solo missions, uh, new weekly mission, uh, some new duos, and then a new alert, plus the new Legends tunes. We're getting uh, Donna Troy and Cheetah in there. Um, See, there's a new power type celestial we're getting. Um, there's new uh, PVE gear we're getting, uh, plus new base items, uh, new collections and feats, um, and also we get a nice, cool new character select background for uh, whenever I'm wearing the character select. Uh, I want to talk about a little bit about some of the uh, patches they did here, though. Uh, most notably, the uh, new loot system changes, because uh, I know everybody's going to be curious about these. Uh, the new loot system changes, you know, we talked about it before. Um, We've heard about it and all that from SOE Live and everything. Uh, basically, um, they've changed the way the loot's dropped. Um, f is dropping for uh, Origins Crisis and Sons of Trigon. This is going to trickle down to all the other content eventually. Uh, <clears throat> but it's going to um, it's all for, it's all for the duos, alerts, and the raids, um, and the you know the, the operations. You know, like Dawn, well, Dawn and Vengeance or the Tier Four. But and you know, you know what I'm saying like BIA and uh, family and stuff. Um, then when you defeat, basically when you defeat a boss or a sub-boss, okay, instead of uh, getting um, a group loot where everybody has to roll on um, loot and everything, you're going to instantly receive a uh, loot box, okay, and um, there will no, you know, so there's no no more rolling on gear. Everybody's going to be getting some kind of loot out of these um, raids, uh, but basically they're kind of working like the, uh, from my understanding, they're working like the reward boxes that we get from like the challenges. So you may get a piece of trailer gear, you know, if you're a healer, you know, you may not get a piece of gear that you want, but you're definitely going to get a piece of gear. Um, I know some people aren't going to be happy about that, but I know um, folks, uh, to be honest with you, I mean, it's, 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 there's a little bit of a trade-off there for it all. So because uh, not only you know, you're you guaranteed to get loot, all right, so, you know, you got you still got a chance of getting something that, you know, you're going to want um, out of it. Also, on top of that, if you don't get something that you want, and all that, or you can't get, or you don't get something that you need, you can still, you know, take that piece of gear and you can salvage it, you know, which is honestly is a good thing concerning, you know, the cost of, you know, simple and complex materials in the broker that I've been seeing for everybody has to go and uh, buy that stuff. Um, but, you know, items that are, um, that are guaranteed always drop, such as uh, research and development, utility belts, and stuff like that, is stuff we're going to be getting out here. Um, you may also, uh, uh, so here, that's that's pretty much it for the loot system and all that. I'm gonna, obviously you know I'm gonna have the patch notes in the description below for you guys to check out and everything. They've got some other patch notes in there too. Uh, um, you know the mail and the broker terminals. Um, each way of the Hall of Doom and the Watchtower they've been moved to be closer to the banks, which I think is a good thing because it was kind of a pain. You know, go from the hub to the one of the wings. You know, in between. You know, everybody doesn't you know have those things in their layers. At least I remember. Before I had that stuff, it was a pain for me, at least. Um, <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, players um, also, you know, players who have used a uh, character name change device uh, once again be able to correctly interact with the items they listed on the broker before using the device. I guess there was an issue with that. So, hmm. um, anyways, um, that's about it. Uh, obviously, you know, there's a lot more of these patch notes, but I'll leave them to you guys to read and everything. I just want to go over a couple of the big things and all that. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, the game is going to be down for five hours, folks, so, you know, feel free to watch a few of my videos if you want to fill the time. Uh, going down at 6 a.m. Pacific time. I forgot to mention that for you guys. Anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked the video, please do so in the comments and uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Until next time, you guys all take care. Bye.